Today, we bring you a heart-wrenching story from Chicago. Seven-year-old Jaimani Amir Rivera was tragically shot and killed on the near west side while running an errand for his mother. This innocent child was gunned down by a teenager, turning a simple task into a family's nightmare. Chicago police have charged 16-year-old Rayshawn Kummer with first-degree murder. The community is in shock, and Jay Manny's family gathered outside the courthouse, holding photos of their beloved boy. You took my baby's whole life away, cried Vanessa Rivera, Jay Manny's aunt, who shared the dreams her nephew had of becoming a football player. According to prosecutors, Jay Manny was helping his mother by taking a cooking pot to a neighbor when he was shot. This senseless act has left a void in his family's heart and a community demanding justice. This Thursday night in Atlanta, President Biden and former President Trump will meet in what could be one of the most consequential political debates in history. As both candidates prepare to face off, the stakes couldn't be higher. This debate is not just another campaign event, it's being called Biden's best chance to change the trajectory of the election. Both candidates and their allies have been spending time and money painting each other in the worst light possible, Trump as an unhinged felon and Biden as a frail, mentally unsound incumbent. In this 90-minute encounter, the candidates will have to counter these negative depictions and prove their worth to the American people. Hosted by CNN, with no studio audience, this debate will be simulcast on all major broadcast networks and cable channels, ensuring that millions of viewers will be tuning in. We have a deeply tragic story out of Fordyce, Arkansas. On Friday, a routine grocery shopping trip turned into a nightmare when gunfire erupted inside the Mad Butcher grocery store. Families, including Katrina Doherty and her children, were shopping when the sound of gunshots shattered the peaceful evening. Initially mistaking the noise for something falling, Katrina quickly realized the severity of the situation when she saw glass shattering and a person dropping to the ground. Outside, David Rodriguez, who was pulling into a nearby gas station, heard what he thought were fireworks he soon realized the front windows of the grocery store had been shattered by gunfire. Panic spread as shoppers fled for their lives, with some seeking refuge in a freezer. The gunman left a trail of devastation, killing four people aged 23 to 81 and injuring nine others the community is reeling from this senseless act of violence. In a fiery speech at Temple University, former President Trump declared that few communities have suffered more under the Biden regime than Philadelphia. Addressing a packed audience at the Lyacaras Center, Trump highlighted the recent surge in crime and bloodshed in the city. He passionately stated, under Crooked Joe, the city of brotherly love is being ravaged by bloodshed and crime. Trump assured his supporters that his administration would bring back law, order, and safety to Philadelphia's streets, success to schools, and prosperity to forgotten communities. Trump's powerful message resonated with the crowd as he promised to liberate our once great cities and make Philadelphia better and more beautiful than ever before. He urged the audience to vote, emphasizing that Joe Biden's wave of bedlam and death and terror will begin to recede the moment I take the oath of office. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates hit the bell icon to stay notified of our latest videos.